After World War I, Germany was in political and economic turmoil. Nazism arose as a political movement which incorporated anti-Semitic ideas. Mein Kampf was published in 1925. Through this book, future Nazi leader Adolf Hitler expresses anti-Semitic beliefs blaming Jews for German turmoil. This clip is a memorial from Belzec's extermination camp in Lublin, Poland, depicting the Jewish neighborhoods destroyed throughout the Holocaust. As Hitler took power in 1933, the Nazi regime slowly began the systematic exclusion of Jews and other minorities from German society. The conditions for Jews continually deteriorated in Europe leading up to Kristallnacht, the infamous Night of Broken Glass, which occurred on the nights of November 9th and 10th of 1938. With Hitler's agenda in mind, Nazi leaders began carrying out his plan to exterminate the Jewish population through the systematic mass murder more commonly recognized as the final solution to the Jewish question. Through their use of extermination camps, 12 million people were slaughtered by Nazi extremism. These individuals included 6 million Jews along with 6 million people from other minority groups such as political prisoners, gypsies, and homosexuals. Again, talking about the sophistication of the, the Nazis, they have uh, designed these ovens to be able to fit three bodies at a time with the stretcher. And with the heat so strong that the bodies would literally melt away into the oven. And you can burn hundreds of bodies in just a couple of minutes. And to, to look on the other side, in the same as on the there were six main extermination camps, Auschwitz-Birkenau, Chelmno, Belzec, Majdanek, Sobobor, and Treblinka. Millions of Jews and enemies of Nazism were slaughtered in these camps. The most infamous of extermination camps was Auschwitz, located in Auschwitzem, Poland. Auschwitz can be broken down into three main camps, each serving a different purpose. Auschwitz I was predominantly a concentration camp, but also had one gas chamber. People often misconstrue Auschwitz I as being the location of death of millions of Jews. This, however, occurred at Auschwitz II, Birkenau. Nearly 1.3 million victims arrived at Auschwitz-Birkenau between June 1940 and January 1945. 1.1 million of them would die there, nearly all of them Jewish. Pictured here is Auschwitz II, Birkenau. The expanse of Birkenau is truly unfathomable, housing up to 150,000 prisoners at a time. Birkenau is the world's largest Jewish graveyard, the place where innocent men, women, and children were slaughtered. Up to 12,000 Jews per day were gassed and burned upon arrival in the Birkenau gas chambers. The statistics do not do justice to the numbers that died there. Today, thousands upon thousands of people visit Poland to pay respects to those exterminated in an attempt to gain understanding for how these atrocities occurred just over 70 years prior. The memorials at these sites serve as a reminder of the horrors committed by Adolf Hitler and his Nazi regime during World War II.